In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down what I would argue with against anyone really is probably one of the most underrated passing concepts in Madden 22. This is something you can do out of pretty much any formation. I like to do it out of troop side in. You can do this out of bunch. You can do this out of single back. Um, it's just a really, really good concept that I'm about to break down. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just helps you stay up to date on the latest that is going on here at the YouTube channel. We upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And today we're taking a look at Trips Tied In. Now, uh, before we go too far in the video, I do want to let you know that I've got a Trips Tied In offensive ebook in my Patreon. So if you want to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, you can get access to literally all of them, all 15 of them by joining the Patreon for just $10. So for just $10 a month, you're gonna get access to everything, all the eBooks, all the updates, any new eBooks, some pro player film studies, private messaging platforms, as well as much, much more. So if you want to get better at this game uh, and you're looking for that kind of next step, I would really encourage you uh, to join the Patreon. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description and you can join that if you'd like to. Like I said, it's only $10. Okay, guys, so let's take a look here at Trips Tied In. Now, um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, I would recommend that you run this out of um, PA Slot Corner. But if you do have Hot Route Master, it really doesn't matter what play you use. Okay? Honestly, actually, yeah, it does. Yeah, I would, I would, I would really recommend that if you're going to run this, run this out of um, um, PA Slot Corner if you don't have Hot Route Master. Okay? So PA slot corner, and all you're going to do is you're going to out route the outside uh, receiver. You're going to go ahead and streak your tight end. You're going to wheel your running back. You're going to drag uh, the circle receiver. I like to go ahead and smart route that post just to help it kind of get a little deeper. If you have hot route master, just hot route the post. And then you're going to motion this running back to the left. So you see this is what the play is going to look like. And the beauty of this is there's hardly any zones in this game. I don't know if there is any zones in the game that will be able to defend that wheel route to the running back out of the backfield. So it's also something that I really like to do. Um, let's say that our opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage. This is a concept that is really, really effective because it forces their user to have to choose. So if you have Hot Route Master, go ahead and just put him on a Hot Route Master or slot apprentice post out there as you can see and then you're going to still do the same basic thing so if you don't have it it's really not you can just run them out of pa slot corner it's fine um, but i'm just letting you know that you can do this out of hot route with a hot route master quarterback so here's the play art as you can see and what you're going to see against mabel coverage is the same thing even a vert hook is not going to get out there and defend that as you can see it really is one of the best positions or placements for a running back wheel um, in this game. So what is typically going to happen whenever you go to something like this is you're going to notice that the user is going to try to take this away with them with their user defender. The problem is they basically have to run at the route um, regardless. So what that allows you to do with your quarterback here is it allows you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you're going to attack this because now there's nobody in the middle of the field so you can just throw this route if it's wide open you can easy it's an easy read against cover three very very simple right now let's say for example that they are going to go with a little cover two concept on this back side and then you've got the man coverage on the back the vert hook of course and then the mabel concept on that left side now the reason i wanted to share this setup or this defense is because this is fairly decent in terms of how it's going to guard the Titan streak. You can still kind of inside pass lead this, but now your drag is wide open over the middle of the field. And so it's a real easy read for your quarterback. If they run to the running back, the whole middle of the field will be open pretty much regardless of what defense they're in. Um, and so then you can either hit your tight end or what you can actually do um, or what you can do with this. So again, you know, we're just going to set up our basic mabel concept here we're going to put that deep half over there now and then they're going to use in the running back so like i said um you could just throw the ball to the drag but if you if you wait a second here they're going to be so far over here that now look at how open this skinny post or not skinny post but this post is going to get 
And the beauty of this post, especially if you run the one uh, from PA slot corner, oftentimes this post is actually going to get in a position that is very difficult for just kind of your run-of-the-mill uh, zone drops to be able to defend. So even in a situation where, you know, they're definitely going, you know, kind of a double Mabel or whatever. What you'll notice is that this route to Miller, if I wait on it, and if I pass lead that up, look at how deep of a route that is. That's about a 40 to 45 yard pass um, in which he's going to be able to get in a position. I mean, it's it's not quite that, but it is, it's, it's basically big enough that you can hit that. Now, if you want to, you could also, and this is something I think is really interesting about this formation, let's say you wanted to hit them a little bit different of a way. What you could what you could do with this is you could go ahead and uh, still do that that out route with Evans, but now instead of running a post, you can run a slant. And the only reason why I wanted to mention this is because now you have a natural little high low concept on this backside where that slant's going to get about 15 to 20 yards down the field, and then of course you've still got your post. Uh, and this is just a really really I mean it's just really really a good concept. Now if they run man coverage, it's basically the same reads. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same. The beauty of the wheel, you're going to notice here that it's going to get a step ahead of the main coverage because what you're also doing by running this is you're making it so that a defense really can't run match coverage on you. If they were, I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go to cover four show two. You're going to notice that it's not going to play like match. You're going to see that it's going to play like cover four drop. And as you can see, this concept is just something that you can hit them with over and over and over again uh, to be successful. So again, it's real simple. Literally, we're just using a drag, a post, and then we're going to use a, an out route to kind of pull all the zones out, and then we have a tight end clear out. And it's just it's really hard to blitz this concept because the middle of the field is just so wide open for you to be able to manip manipulate it. So anyways, this is just something that I wanted to share. I was thinking about this um, over the last 24 hours. Thought it would be something that would be very beneficial. If you want something to kind of wrinkle to throw into this, like I said, if you want to, um, you can also, so let's say for example, you want to kind of throw your opponent off guard, go ahead and go to gun bunch and all you're going to do is you're going to take the, um, let's see here, the tight end, you're going to drag him, you're going to post the R1 and then you're going to wheel the running back and wheel this outside guy or if you want to, you could do it something, do it like this as well. This is the, literally the exact same concept. It's just from a different look. As you can see here, this wheel to the back, when you run to a four strong, it really is actually something very difficult to stop. So wheels are hard to guard anyway. When you start using motion with your wheels, you become really, really hard to guard. So I want to thank you for watching this video. we got more coming later today. But also wanted to let you know, just quickly remind you that if you're still watching the video, um, and you want to learn more about Trips Tied In, join our Patreon. It's only $10. For only $10 a month, you get access to everything. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description of the video. You can head on down there right now and click that link. It'll take you right over, and we'll get you signed up within five minutes. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're still watching, you're interested in joining the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.